Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are recursive functions and some example programs. So in today's class we will understand what is a recursive function and what is recursion and some example programs. So a recursive function is a function like any other normal function and that function is going to call itself right a function that calls itself is known as a recursive function and the process is called as recursion right recursion means something that happens repeatedly in self similar way right for example look at this recursion function the function name is recursion function or you can have anything here so inside here we have a function called to itself recursion function calling self function right so this is going to call itself uh, unlimited times so this is going to happen non stoppingly right to so at infinity times so this happens at infinity times so it never ends there has to be certain conditions certain breakpoints to come out of this a uh, function so the function which calls itself is called a recursive function so, so let's go out and work out some programs you'll we'll understand better what a recursion function is so friends in this program i am going to show you the recursive main function uh, that means the main function which is going to call itself this one right so in this case the main is going to call itself unlimited times if i put the same code and if i go and execute this program the main is going to call itself continuously non stoppingly up to infinity times it it will never go and end it will never end itself right so this will happen infinity times so so to prevent that i must have some conditions to break out of the main program so to do that i will have a global variable which is declared outside of any function this thing right so here a is a variable which is declared outside main that means any variable which is declared outside of any function is called as global variable or universal variable that can be used in any function with the same value so the if i use a in main of the value remains 1 if i use the if i remain the variable a in any other function uh, the value is going to uh, be same right so first let me add the clr function clear screen and here i am going to put some condition like while a value is less than or equal to say 5 that means uh, it is going to call main function five times if i don't put this condition uh, it will never end at all uh, the main function is going to call itself infinity times right so i have to increment the value of a every time otherwise the same thing happens so i'll print uh, for your reference here uh, the main is called percent d times comma a so let's go and run this control f9 oops so this is happening because of this clear screen function let me erase this control f9 so we have got the main function okay so i will initialize a value with 0 right control f9 so the main is called one time two times three time four five six so the next set of six lines are called this time the line number 1 2 3 4 5 6 are printed this time that means the main is called six times when i value is 0 it is called once and when i value is up until 5 it is called 5 times so this is how we can call the main function itself so this is how we can achieve so this is how we can achieve the recursion function and friends in this program i am going to show you the recursive add function 
uh, that means I'm going to call an add function from the main function um, which is going to be here below or below the main function say int add and this function this add and this add function is going to call itself up to some number of times and this add function is going to call itself for a number of times so this is an recursive function here this function call initiates this function uh, when the function call when the control enters here this will iterates this function i mean this will uh, make the recursion of add function un until some number of times so first let me tell you how this function works so first i'll declare a variable here say int a equals to phi and i'm going to pass this a the value of a to this function here so here it is int x and it is going to calculate the sum of all the numbers from 1 to 5 that means it is going to iterate through 5 to 1 right so 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which results in 15 so that has to happen so for that I'm going to do this I want one more variable called sum here which stores the sum of all the numbers from 1 to 5 right after that I'm going to print the value here the sum is equal to percent D right comma sum so after this function call the control comes here in text uh, with the number 5 so I has to have some conditions here to stop the loop or limit the recursion function say suppose if x value is not equal to 0 so until 0 the recursion happens whenever the x uh, is equal to 0 it stops execution right so if x not equal to 0 until x remains not equal to 0 I'll say return x plus the function call add here. So, so just observe what happens here x minus 1 else return just x. Right? So this is not needed here because I have the function call here so this is the function call add x minus 1 I mean uh, this add function is calling from here at the first time x minus 1 that means 5 minus 1 will be sent here next time 4 minus 1 will be sent here 3 minus 1 2 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 whenever it uh, reaches x reaches to 0 uh, the condition fails and it returns the sum it uh, calculated right let's go and run this program control f9 oh sorry i should i shouldn't forget the function declaration here sorry for that and add and right control f9 so i'm extremely sorry for this also oh, sorry okay semi semicolon should not be here so semicolon shouldn't be here because it's a function definition right so the sum is equal to 15 so what happened exactly here at this place the in the first step x has got the value 5 5 is not equal to 0 then return x plus add function that is 5 plus add of 5 minus 1 x plus add a 4 so add is called again with the value 4 so x remain here as it is only this function call goes here right so x plus that mean 5 plus 4 is going to be called here next time 9 plus 3 is going to be called I'll show you with the diagram then you will understand it better
So in the recursive add function, first we will call this statement x plus add x minus 1. At this stage, 5 plus 4 is executed. That means x is 5 add of 4. Here, the 4 is passed and the calculation is happened, 5 plus 4 is 9. Whenever uh, this execution happens, 4 minus 1, next time, uh, the addition is 9 plus 3 because I've already calculated 9. So after this execution, 9 plus 3 will be 12. So next time, when I call this x minus 1, x value will be 3. 3 minus 1 gives me 14. And after that, I'll get 14 plus 1, which is 15. At this stage, when 0, when 0 passes, uh, the if condition fails there because 0 not equal to 0 is a fail then I'll return the x value which is 15. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.